Hey guys, this is Coop from Garage Number Reviews, and today we're finishing the second part of a two-part series on Made in America products. And so today, I'm gonna tell you why you, as an American, if you're an American, should buy USA Made Gym Equipment. Yeehaw. Okay, for some reason in the home gym community, Made in America is a big topic. This isn't like a topic I see within tech or in a lot of other industries. I don't really see like people like, you know, really like getting in fights over luggage made in the USA. But for whatever reason, in the home gym community, we battle over gym equipment made in the USA or made elsewhere. I see it everywhere. We see it in our Facebook group. By the way, you can join free of charge by signing up in the link below the like button. However, I see it there. I see it in our comment sections. I see it all over the internet. So we did a video basically talking about why Maine America is maybe overrated. Basically what I'm trying to do is take either side. The side of, ah, you don't really need to buy Maine America equipment versus, ah, you should buy Maine America equipment. So I wanna close this out by talking about why you should buy Maine America and why it does kind of matter. And so just to give you an idea of who I talked to on this, one is I've read a couple books on it. I'll put a link below the like button on one that I like and then we put a picture of one that I thought was really good. In addition to that, I've also talked to some actual gym equipment owners. I'm not gonna give any specific names, but pretty much most of the bigger gym equipment company owners that you're aware of, I've talked to in some capacity and probed on these specific questions, on why they make in, um, things in America, why it matters to them, and m why maybe it should matter to you as a consumer. And so, without further ado, let's talk about why you should buy Made in America gym equipment. Number one, and this is gonna appeal not so much to the economic side, but just to the quality side, is that Made in America gym equipment, by and large, is a better quality than what we've seen overall from other countries. Granted, there are definitely product recalls and things like that from products that are made in the US, but I see it more and more that there are more recalls that happen from Chinese made equipment or imported equipment, not just China, but imported equipment than there are in the US. And a lot of that has to do with quality control. The reason that American made equipment or just American made goods in general are often very well liked is because they're able to go from idea to fully manufactured to ship to your door after all the quality control, designing and everything all in house. And so a company like, a, like Rogue for instance, who's able to take it from soup to nuts from very beginning to the very end is able to oversee every part of the process. And if you're able to see over, over every part of the process, you're able to check the welds more often, you're able to check the powder coat, you're able to check every iterative process versus sending an order off over to another country basically waiting for them to manufacture it, getting it over in a, in a shipping container, opening the box and being like, yep, this is what we ordered or nope, this is not what we ordered. So by and large, US made equipment is a better quality in my opinion and pretty much everybody else's than others that are out there. That doesn't mean like there's no equipment out there that's made in another country that isn't as good, but as a whole, from what I've used and I've used a lot, probably more than really anybody, um, USA made gym equipment is better quality. The second reason, and this was one that was brought up quite a bit from people like owners who are manufacturing in the US and are US centric, is that a good made in the US, specifically a gym equipment, piece of gym equipment made in the US, a barbell, squat rack, dumbbell, you name it, is going to influence and affect the US economy and the local economy more than something made overseas. So when I first made a video talking about why USA Gym Equipment may be a little bit overrated, what I said was just because something is made overseas doesn't mean that money isn't being spent in the US. And I give an example of a company that's spending like 50% of their basically revenue to go towards US employees. But the reality is that although that's significant and I think that's worth noting, that doesn't mean that that is as much as a company that's producing a good entirely in the US. So if a good is made entirely in the US using US source materials, we're not just talking assembled in the US, we're talking about completely from the beginning taking raw steel, 
using American hands, raw steel that's made in the US and turning it into a product that you can then lift on using as many American goods along the way as you can is going to more positively affect the US economy, more positively negate and lower the US budget deficit, which by the way is just an insane amount. I think we're over 30 million or so right now in debt, in the US economy, even higher. 30 trillion, oh yeah, what did I say, million? Yeah, 30 million is nothing, 30 million is nothing. 30 trillion, thank you, sir. Yes, with a T, trillion dollars in debt. It would also lower the trade deficit, which our trade deficit is like somewhere in the trillions in comparison to how much we import versus how much we export. And not only that, it would affect more positively the local economy. So buying in the U.S., buying U.S. made goods will have a greater effect to the local economy and the U.S. economy than something that's imported. The third reason why USA made goods matter and why you should consider buying them, and specifically gym equipment, is because goods that are made in the USA are required to be held to higher standards than goods made elsewhere. And so what I mean by that, that's not just the manufacturing of the good, it's also the environment of the manufacturing that's taking place. So if you're buying something overseas, which this isn't in every case, but by and large, the environment in which that's built and the wage in which that's given for that thing to be built is not going to be to the same standard as it will be in the US. US has certain environmental and national regulations that must be met and in order to be, them to be met, it's one of the reasons that USA made goods are priced higher is because that they're having to do stricter regulations. So, you know, we hear these things about like Chinese sweatshops and kids working. And I wouldn't say that like every like good made overseas is in an environment in which that happens. Okay, at least for gym equipment, I think a lot of the stuff we're seeing like the owners, at least from what I'm talking to them about, they care about the environment in which it's made. However, the wages that are given to those in the US and the environment in which they have to work is a greater like place to work. And it's gonna be a more livable wage. I mean, we're seeing this with some companies where they're literally publishing the rates of what they're paying. Because of the pandemic, a lot of these companies were trying to like basically get as many employees as they could. And so for social media, they were posting about their wages and everything. And for instance, Rogue, I think it, they start at like 25 bucks an hour for like the minimum smallest job they offer. I think customer service maybe. Sorry, customer service agents at Rogue, I just gave away your salary. But it's something that honestly was above the current minimum wage, which I think is like being argued on to be around 15 bucks. But that doesn't even get into comparison of what it would cost elsewhere to have a little livable wage so and that doesn't even like consider the environment in which it's made i mean i personally haven't been to these like sweatshops i've seen you know facebook videos shared by my grandma who knows if that's the environment the way it currently is but me personally i try to make buy goods that are fair trade so you pretty much know in the u.s that you're buying a fair trade good I don't see a lot of companies making things overseas that are in the fitness equipment industry that are using fair trade protocols or at least publishing them. So because of that, you're contributing to a better environment for other people and a more livable wage for money that can then be spent in the US economy that can then better overall help out your country, the USA, if you're a USA citizen. The fourth reason, and another one that I think is worth considering, and a lot of people aren't, is the fact that if we lose the ability to make goods, we will always be beholden to other countries. The skills required to make something is very hard. Ask anybody who's manufacturing something in the US, it's difficult, it's hard, it's a lot harder. I'm not like downplaying importing something, it still takes skill, it's still hard, and it's somewhat of a different game. But manufacturing something from like an idea to like sellable good in the USA is difficult. It, it's just hard. And so the skills required to do that is something that we should retain and something that honestly, I don't know if we should quote unquote glorify it, but we should definitely respect it. It's something that we should like, we don't need to look down upon people because they're not going into say tech and instead they're going into like manufacturing something or they're a woodworker or something like that. 
Like, it takes a certain skill, and although it's not prized in the same way monetarily today as somebody who's like a knowledge worker, it's still very valuable. And I would be, I'd be very nervous for our country if we lost the ability to actual ma actually make physical goods. Lastly, and this is just me personally, I probably very clearly love the USA. I'm wearing a USA hat. My shoes, I did not plan this, are stars and bars. Uh, I try to buy as much USA made goods as possible. I can one, and this isn't a brag, but I can afford to. So because I can afford to, I'd rather spend money in that area for fewer things, but better things. When I buy things that are overseas, I typically buy like a Patagonia or something for apparel, because I know they're using like fair labor standards and things like that. Not everybody has that luxury, but I think the ultimate goal is like, I wanna create an economy that is better and create a nation that is better for my future kids. That doesn't mean I don't care about other nations or other people, um, but I live here and I wanna affect my local economy as positively as possible. So I shop small, I shop local, and I also try to buy USA made goods. That doesn't mean every instance you should or have to buy USA made goods, but I think it's a personal decision and me personally, Oftentimes, that's the way I'll go. That said, when I'm reviewing product, oftentimes, I'm not really thinking a ton about where it's made in terms of recommendation. The reason being is because that's a decision that you should make. I'm reviewing it on the basis of the product. So companies would like me to inject my personal opinion in product reviews, and I certainly do. But at the same time, I wanna make sure that you have the information that you need to make the best purchasing decision for your home gym. And so when I'm reviewing something imported versus something that's made in the USA, just because it's made in the USA doesn't mean it's better and worth buying. From a pure functional standpoint, oftentimes that's what I'm looking at and then I'm trying to provide you advice and opinions and also facts on where it's made, on the conditions, things like that. So this has been a pretty honest take from Coop, from Garage Gym Reviews. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Are you gonna buy Made in the USA? Does it matter to you? Do you prefer the lower prices? USA Made equipment is definitely more expensive overall. Let me know in the comments. We'll see you next time. Peace.